泣いてるのエレン
俺は生まれた時から俺のままだ。中に入ろうピストリア生まれた時から
てることはできない人に何も変えることはできない分かってる俺はそこに仲間やその絆に迫って失敗した I'm back again with a mini theory. The ones I'm going to present to you are some of the Muvla references that I found in Attack on Titan. I would like to share why the tree on a hill is a very important symbol and place in the Attack on Titan world. So a little background. Isayama's first game under the age developers of Muvla is Kimi Nozo or Kimi ga Nozumu Ian, Rumbling Hearts. It's the second visual novel produced by that company. The origin of that tree on a hill is actually from this game. The tree on the hill behind Hakuru that overlooks Hiragi Town shows up everywhere, first made its debut in Kimiga no Zamo Ian, being a location held by the students that, quote, if a couple formed beneath that tree, they'd be together forever, or something to that effect. Some notable couples who formed beneath the tree were Sumika and Takaru, and Haruka and Takayuki. Another thing is that a muvlov alternative, on the way to the tree on a hill, served as a graveyard for the fallen soldiers who died in the fight against the Betas, and Betas are analogous to Titans. What is the relevance between Muv Love and AOT? We see the first appearance of the tree on a hill in Isayama's first work, Attack on Titan Chapter Zero, his one shot that he made back in 2006. The tree on a hill is Eren's favorite resting spot. That's why Mikasa buried him on the spot that served as his graveyard. Where else did we see that tree on a hill in a graveyard? Of course, the Anor music video. It's very common knowledge that this graveyard will be the Alliance's graveyard after he completes the rumbling. Eren will also be buried here. So in a symbolic way, he'll be together forever with his friends buried under the tree on a hill. In the photo earlier about the tree, it is said that the couple who form beneath the tree will be together forever. So applying this to AOT in a way, it's kind of a poetic reference when Mikasa was also buried with Eren under the same tree. So in a way, they are together forever even after death. It's both romantic, relating to her love towards Eren, and unsettling, relating to Mikasa's strong attachment towards him. 
Another poetic reference is the volume 34 cover, where Aaron, first, and his friends, later, race together towards the tree on a hill in a world without walls. They may be racing together and now reunited after they die in the manga, and since the cover is set in the dawn, it symbolizes a new beginning in the anime. The tree also has a narrative importance in the story, and is Isayama's stand-in for the beginning and end of everything. He uses a circular storytelling technique. As you can see in the beginning of the manga, the very first scene, Aaron is waking up by Mikasa, and in the manga's very last scene, Mikasa is there at the tree crying, as Aaron in a bird form flies away. Also, at the start of the Titan history, we see Amir fighting the Titan Tree. And later, at the very end of the story, in the eight extra pages, a new child finds the Titan Tree, presumably undergoing a very similar fate. Another reference that I found is regarding the St. Polly's. In Mevlove Unlimited Miki, one of the girls in Mevlove gifted Takaru a flower. This flower symbolizes delicate love. An alternative, however, this flower was turned into funeral flowers for their dead mentor, Marimo. Mia. In Floriography, the St. Paula means a delicate love. Miki. They're called St. Paula's. They took forever to bloom. Actually, they got sick a while back, too. It was a really close call. Miki. I never thought they'd turn out to be funeral flowers. I promised instructor that I would give them to her. They were supposed to be a thank you gift for all the time she spent training us. I never found any specific connection to AOT besides the characters bringing flowers to the graves. I just noticed Mikasa and Aaron's flowers are kind of the same. The opening song for Core 1 will be sung by Sim, titled Under the Tree. Again, it's a Muffleth reference. Onward Towards the Truth, Isayama's unofficial psychologist.